Police reform has been in the spotlight with protests and events last summer. Now there's some pushback again from the Buffalo Police Union, which is pointing to the increase in violent crime this past year. Channel 2's Ron Plants has this story for us. In December, we shared statistics showing Buffalo's violent crime surging in 2020, the number of shootings and victims nearly doubling. It appears that troubling trend carrying over and growing into 2021, with the Buffalo Police Union reporting the number of shooting victims tripled and homicides went up by 30% when comparing January 2021 to January 2020. In part, they point again to New York State's bail reform laws, which took effect in 2020. Due to bail reform, there's there's no longer any any consequence. Um, there's no longer even a night in jail when you're caught with a new illegal firearm. A society without consequences is going to be a lawless society, and uh, I think that's what we're um, we're encountering right now. The police union says concerns about a perceived upsurge in crime here in the Elmwood Village area really makes their point. That includes a seemingly random stabbing incident and carjacking. Buffalo Police Captain Jeff Ronaldo recently telling Two On Your Side's Town Hall increasing crime is not solely a Buffalo problem. And while it may be a partial factor, bail reform didn't happen nationwide. What we saw here in Buffalo was very consistent with what happened around the country. But the union also questioning the police stop receipt issue for encounters with the public. It's just making it cumbersome and you can no longer um pull a vehicle over and, uh, uh, you know, check it out, so to speak, you know, with probable cause, of course, but you can't do that uh, in a, <clears throat> in a, as a practice or on a, a continuing basis. While we weren't able to reach reform advocates, Ronaldo says the stop receipt programs help with transparency and public trust to understand reasons for police interactions. Overall, he says COVID may be a larger factor. It's absolutely brought a complete stop to our community outreach, our community programs that we engage in. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.